Hey everyone, it's Amador. So I'm trying to do some cleaning in my craft room because it is such a hot mess. There's so much stuff. Um, I have some projects, like some things that I've made for uh, as video response, which I always send to the person, but there's a lot of things that I have that I've made. And I was going to post some of the projects on Etsy, but I figured, you know what, I'm lazy and this is a lot easier. I'll post a video. If they sell, they sell. If not, then I will have to post them on Etsy. Now, the cool thing is, if you guys like some of my projects, um, if they, I'm gonna post the, I'm gonna show you guys like all the projects I have to sell, and then I'm going to leave the um, the price in the description because I'm really not even sure how much at the moment, um, and I don't want to get like uh, distracted or confused with prices and stuff. So I'm gonna put the price in the description and just PM me if you are interested or if you have any questions about the project. Cool thing is. The prices that you will see that I post in the description are going to be a little bit less than they would be on Etsy because there's a benefit to that. I don't have to pay Etsy fees and stuff like that. So I get to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm having a pre-sale, I guess. So it's going to have quite a few items that I have that you guys might have seen. Some things that um, were for entries and stuff like that for like uh, DTs or whatever. But um, let me show you guys. These are going to be the racks. There's going to be small, medium, and large. So the small one is this one, and this one is, um, it's all wood, and it was painted and distressed, and this is covered with, you guys have probably seen this on a previous project, with Prima Printery. And it has two of these jars, and it has a little section here so you can write what, what's in the, th in, the, in the jar. Completely, mostly covered, excuse me, with paper. I stamped this wooden token with a clock, and then here's some, uh, some skeleton leaves and some flowers and a little spool. So there's, this is the small one. This one is the medium one, and this is covered with the Prima Lyric Collection. It's all painted and distressed as well, and I just totally dropped the jar. And it has four of these jars. Each one of them has a little label here and a label on top. So, And they fit very snugly in here. So there's that one. There's a top to that. Here's this one. The top to this. Here's that one. The size to this is about, so you got to get a, a general idea, it's about five and a half by three and a quarter and the back part is um, five and three fourths so that's the size of the small one now this one is if I could do the back oops this one is about nine inches high two and three fourths wi um, wide and eight and a quarter this way so that's eight by by nine basically and you get like I said you get the four jars so is that that one's the medium one this one is the larger one and let me get this into frame you guys might have seen this in one of my previous videos this comes with four jars and it's painted distressed with um, some um, images mod podged and then stamped in some sections it comes with four of these little jars these are plastic and they open up for storage has a notepad of things to do or whatnot uh, that I made and some stickers with letters so you can label whatever the little thing is. So this one is the large one and this one is 11 and 3 fourths wide and 11 and a half tall and the depth of it is two and a half. So that's the large one. You guys might have remembered this, you guys might remember this, excuse me, this is my, um, the metal, the magnetic uh, shabby chic uh, magnetic uh, board message board that I made for the lavish laces D team um, call so it comes with these four um, this is the back of that one this one I stabilized them on medium weight ch uh, lightweight chipboard and then I put the magnet very strong magnet so it comes with these four and um, it's all decorated ready to go so just the actual board is seven and a half by by 10 and then plus all of these ruffles so and this one's the uh, shabby chic magnetic board this one is a two jar and this is the large quart jars these are the so you guys see these are the pints and these are the quarts and this is this comes in this picket fest container it's wooden container it's nine and a quarter by four and a half deep so, like I said, this is the court, um, about seven uh, inches tall. It comes with this glittered, uh, this is some vintage um, music sheet and 
some book paper and then some uh, silver glitter with some I hand dyed all of this seam binding and it has two of these paint in distress cur jars so they're all paint in distress this one is in pink and this one is more of in a pistachio green so that is the picket fence and jars so now we're going to go. Now this was already on my Etsy. I sold several other ones, but um, and this one um, was already uh, said, on my, my Etsy. And this is the two jar with a metal carrier. And these are the ball jars in cream, fully distressed, and in that uh, greenish uh, mint color. And even the caddy, if you can see, is metal. It's distressed and it has a little handle to it so you can use it to store all sorts of this stuff. This birdhouse is about five and a half inches wide, um, eight and three fourths tall and from front to back it's the roof is four and three fourths. So this one is completely covered in some Stampin' Up! paper and I forgot I think this is my mind's eye lost and found something or other with uh, rosette, some flowers, a little butterfly there and it has this uh, cluster of flowers right there. Let me make sure I'm focusing. Cluster of flowers and pearls and a little spray. Comes around here. I made this flower as well, a little rosette and another little spray right there. So it's all painted and then it's um, covered in paint. This has three of the pint jars. It has a pink one, a green one, and a lavender one. So they're fully distressed from top to bottom. Now, let me pull this out. This is a little bench type thing that I found. Let me make sure I get. Alright. It is, if I can work a ruler, it is 11 inches wide. Um, eight and a half tall, and it is four inches deep, and it fits three of these mason jars perfectly. So I actually crackle painted this entire thing. I paint it was um I kept it the wood color. I even painted the bottom and I normally don't do the backs of the bottoms. But um there's a little brand there. I uh crackle painted the entire thing with the I think it's the folk art crackle medium. This isn't the glue, this is the full on crackle medium. So it's fully done. Then it's coated and covered and everything the entire thing. Like I said it holds the three mason jars. So this is the um, this is the three mason jar caddy. And it stands perfectly. You could put your brushes, pencils, rulers, all all kinds of stuff. And this is on a wooden hanger. The wooden hanger, which is crackle painted, is about twelve inches long. So all together, the piece will be from the hook. Let me see, twelve, twelve inches from the top of the hook to the bottom of this frame. It's crinkle painted and these are some Melissa Francis resin pieces, the wings, the crown. These are frames that I painted and um, it's got boy themed print uh, paper. This is Martha Stewart ribbon on here and um, all of these. This hangs completely perfectly in a, in, a, in a baby's room, in a nursery or in a living room and all of these they are made to open up and it opens up with the um, the ribbon in the back and you just slip in. This is just um, scrapbook paper. And then you pull it back. Same thing with these. It opens and then you can put the picture in there. And this one as well. So it's fully functional for pictures and everything. And this is the the hanger with frames. Okay? It's all crackle painted. Hopefully, I'm giving it enough time for you guys to see. I also have this wreath, and this is one of the um, the round, uh, I think it's the 14-inch wreath. Yes, it's the, the circle one. And it is completely wrapped with burlap, frayed burlap, and muslin that I stamped with music note. If you guys can see it, make sure I'm focusing with music notes. And all of these flowers and leaves I cut, I made the burlap where you... Uh, cover it Mod Podge several days and you layer it and everything. So there's several layers of flowers and leaves. The leaves uh, I made myself as well with some wind buttons and some lace trim. The muslin is stamped with a script on the leaves and it goes all the way around. And then there's this ruffled muslin trim that goes around here and around the top. So that one is the fall. This one is a, um, or I have, I'm not sure, a garden mini album. And 
so it's one, two, three, four, five, five thick, thick and chunky pages. It's so chunky that I had to make a closure. So you see the closure right there with the, um, I think that's a, an old earring right here as a charm. So it has eyelets and it goes to the back and to the front. So let me just show you guys quickly. Some of these, uh, all of these, this muslin and this uh, trim I dyed myself. And here is the charm that goes along with it. Some metal flowers, a little booklet, a rose, a little prima gem, another one right there, a key. So I made these flowers, um, and here's some little, a little, um, the, uh, some ruffle trim, some leaves. Made this flower as well. This is a mini, um, a mini seed packet and some more flowers, some butterfly punches. This is the first page with some, uh, photo mat, a tag. The tag has lines in the back and these flowers I made as well. This is, oh, this is using the Prima, uh, Nature Garden Collection. Here's a bird cage, some cards. Another seed pack. You guys have seen me use these seed packets, and they come with a photo mat or journaling spot, whichever we want to use it for. And it has these mini file. I made these mini file folders with the paper, and you can put pictures here as well on either side. There's that there. Here's another note card, another um, seed packet, a little tucking pocket. I tea dyed this ruffle trim. I sprayed this trim here, and this has a tag. See some. Uh, most of my photo mats are 4x6 or 5x7. And this one, it, when it opens up, it has a wing here, so it looks like two wings wrapped in pearls and this rosette trim. There are some photo mats, another seed packet, some more photo mats right here, a tag, some flowers right there. I made this flower as well. Um, here's a little butterfly with some trim. It's all stained. Some crystals right there. This one is... Um, it's all the paper. There's some the chipboard uh, die cuts that it comes with. Here's another um, seed packet, and here's another one of these. This one actually says inspired. Another one of these um, mini file folders. So, and there's the back. I always keep the back simple. So that is the Nature Garden, um, the Nature Garden mini album. Now this was on sale for eighty dollars on my Etsy plus shipping, of course. But it'll be cheaper right now because I'm just trying to make some space and get um, so I can bring in some other stuff and create some other things. So this is the mini album that I made with the old Curiosity Shop, and you guys might have seen this. This was the first video I uploaded to YouTube, and um, it has this little hidden door right there. Here's the charm, and it's got this gem, a key, a crown, a wolf, some of these pearl drops, little bells, some pr a prima crystal. Some more little crystals, <clears throat> the hidden door. So I'll put, I'll, um, it's actually my first YouTube. If you guys want to reference that, you guys can look for that one. And this thing weighs over a pound. So this one was, on, was uh, I was going to post it, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and post it. It comes with 27, that's right, you guys, 27 photo mats. And I'll just kind of go through them right here. Various colors. And 27 photo mats. They range from 4 by 6 to 5 by 7 and, um, and a few various sizes. Then it also has 14 um, journaling spots with different sizes. Some are postcards, some are tags, some are these cutouts from the collection. It's 14 of those. And then it has this one that has a belly band and it opens up like this. And this one isn't counted in the 27 and the four 27 photo mats and 14 um, journaling spots. So that's that. And this is the old Curiosity mini album. I'll just flip through it with uh, just kind of quickly. This is massive. This was a, a severe work of art, you guys. This was a work of uh, passion and heart. There's flowers. I mean, this thing is crazy. It's got this little thing in the back. It is heavy, like I said, with all the tags and everything, all of the cuts, it actually comes up to like a pound or a quarter base. So, let me know if you guys are interested. Only, um, only if you are actually interested, please go ahead and PM me with uh, your information. Or your like I said, all of these items will be uh, will the price will include shipping, and um, just go ahead and send me a PM. Thanks, you guys. Bye.